要认识高女人。有一个很高的女人，她比她的丈夫高。她比她丈夫高得多。虽然她是很高的女人，可是她的丈夫是很矮的男人。我们要知道。他是谁？他的家在哪里？他叫什么？我们还不知道他是谁，他叫什么，和他的家在哪里？所以，我们要跟他说话。我们要跟他说中文，因为我们觉得他是中国人。所以，我跟他说：“你好。”我是杜老师，你叫什么？他说：“我叫丽丽。”你叫我丽丽好吗？很多的中国女人叫丽丽。Lily 是 beauty beauty。我跟他说：“好啊 ，Lily， 你好 ，Lily， 你会说中文，对不对 ？”Lily 说：“对，我会说中文。”我跟他说：“那你是中国人吗？你在中国的卡通里，因为中国人会说中文，所以我觉得你是中国人，对吗？”他说：“我的爸爸妈妈是中国人，我是中国人，可是也是美国人。可是我不在中国了。”我也不在美国了。虽然我是中国人，但是哦哦还好，也是美国人。可是我不在那里了。我跟丽丽说：“啊，你以前在中国，对吗？你以前小的时候跟爸爸妈妈在中国吗？”丽丽说：“对，以前我在中国。”以前
我很小的时候，我的家在中国。我的爸爸妈妈去了美国以后，我的家在美国。所以，我是孩子的时候。我的家在美国。我在美国上过课，所以我的老家在中国。可是我也是美国人。我跟他说：“好啊，你现在在美国吗？”他跟我说：“不是，现在不在美国。现在我在哥伦比亚。”我说：“啊，你在哥伦比亚了。你的丈夫，他也在哥伦比亚，对不对？”他说：“对，我的丈夫也在哥伦比亚。”他是哥伦比亚人，所以我们都会说中文、英文和西班牙文。他的西班牙文比我的西班牙文好，可是。我的中文比他的中文好。我的中文比他的中文好得多。我的英文不比他的英文好。他的英文很好，跟我的英文。一样好，所以我们有时候说英文，有时候说西班牙文，还有时候说中文。Sometimes， 有时候。我跟丽丽说：“哇，你们会说三个：英文、西班牙文和中文，太好了！”我也知道，你现在有很好的丈夫，你。爱他，他也爱你。丽丽说：“对呀、啊，我爱他，他也爱我。”我跟丽丽说：“谢谢你今天跟我们说话。”丽丽说：“不谢，不谢。” Okay, I'm going to put a little bit at the end where I'm going to talk pretty much in English to just point out some things about characters. So if you're interested in hearing a little about the character form, and you may have already started thinking about some of these and wondering,、um, 
keep listening and I'll do a couple minutes of a few of the characters that we've already seen. So um, we had Gao in Gao Xing, and then it was high spirits or happy, emotionally happy. This Gao really means high or tall. And if you can see a two story building in there, that's kind of what it was based on originally. Um, let's find another one. Let's see, you might have noticed this sounds like the, there's actually three things that are a connector word between other words. They all sound like the, but there's three different ones depending on what kind of words they connect. So um, this one's describing, and this is like an adverb that describes that adjective. So that's why it's there. Let's see, I is kind of interesting. There's three parts, right? There's this part, this part, and this part. I can tell you what they all mean. I'm not sure why it means short. Um, so this is an arrow, like a bow and arrow. This is a standing head of grain, like um, if you imagine a wheat, fully mature wheat. There's the wheat um, part that they're going to harvest, and then this is the plant. And then this part is, you probably remember, it's female. So put together, this is I. This part over here on the right sounds sort of like I, and I think that's why it appears there. Um, let's see if anything else. Oh, Zhang Fu might be kind of good. Zhang Fu, it's sort of like Ren, right? A little bit. Um, and then there's kind of like this extra thing. I've heard it's supposed to be like somebody with a staff, like they've got a uh, sort of a mark of authority with some kind of special staff that they have. So a Zhang Fu is kind of like a, it sort of means like great man, something besides husband. Um, here you can maybe see Da. If you didn't have this line, you'd kind of have a funny shape Da, big. Um, and so this is sort of that same kind of idea. It's like a, a man, but there's something kind of special about him. Let's see if we got some other ones. Right. Oh, zhi dao. We just looked at I. Here's the same part on the left, the arrow. And then this part you might have seen in other things like ma, or jiao, or chi. That's a mouth. Why is it in there in the word for knowing something? I don't know. Can't tell you that one. They might be a reason, but I don't happen to know it. I want to find the word Columbia. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, Lily might be kind of fun too. This is a simplified script character. The original version of Lily did not look very much like this at all. So this is way simpler to write, fewer strokes than the traditional script. Um, so it's not supposed to be two eyes with a fancy unibrow, but if that helps you think of beauty, use it. Use it. It's a little bit fancier word than saying how can, um, but it's in the word may, li, which means beautiful. I think gulun bia is a little bit later. Let's find it. Hmm. Maybe a little later. Oh, uh, yeah. Even later. Yeah, okay, well, while we're here, Mei Guo, I feel like we saw this in that little character brain break. So you got the borders around the outside, right? And you actually write that by hand with this one first, this one, and then close the box. At the very end, actually, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, you close the box last. So there's the borders around the outside and on the inside, it's a king. And this little dot is like his fancy piece of jade. This part together means the word jade inside there. So inside the country, you have borders and you have something precious. Over here is may. May also means beautiful. So I just said the word may li, which means beautiful. Um, this part may also just means beautiful by itself. It's Now it's got a goat and then the big down here. 
but those are kind of corrupted from the original. It was a picture of a woman with a big fancy headdress. And you can even find pictures now, or if you look at um, TV shows that are about ancient China, you'll see women with these fancy headdresses that um, stick up above their head, kind of a fancy hat, sort of a headband, and there's little things that dingle down, and it looks really cool, and there's sometimes fancy stuff attached, or um, precious stones, metal, embroidery, all that. So that's what's up here on her head, and then there's the arms and legs. So, I still want to find Columbia, and then we'll stop. Aha! Columbia. It's just borrowing from the sound of the word Columbia, of course. But there might be two in here that you've seen. I think we had Guga, older brother, and B, like Ta, B, Wo, Gao, comparing two things. They're just in there because they sound like parts of the word Columbia, but if you thought, wait a minute, those look familiar, you were right. Um, this part is not related. Those two parts don't really relate to the meaning. Actually, none of them do. <laughs> but um, that might help you because you've seen those two before. Okay.